Welcome back, my dear students. So it's time for us to create a web socket. Let's play around with web sockets and let's see how that works. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my folder here. And I, if you notice, I did change the font in this. Let me actually go ahead and restart it. Let me just come back here and synchronize this a little bit. All right. So I did change the font size. I want you guys to see clearly what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and create a WebSocket server first of all, and let's see how that works, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a file. I'm gonna call this um, WebSocket socket server.js. There we go. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to create a a WebSocket server is we need to require that module, right? So let's come here and say socket server like this. Let's require. Now, let's make sure that we do have that module. The module that we are going to be using is the WS module, okay? So make sure you come to here and say npm install WS, okay? There we go. So that package is installed and mine was not installed. It was updated because I already had it, have it there. I already had it. So now that we have that module and we are requiring it, let's use it. So I'm going to create another constant and we are going to get the uh, a function out of there. As a matter of fact, let's do it here. Let's get the server out and let's just say, well, create a new instance of that web socket and we should be seeing the same guy here okay now this is gonna take a parameter here and we're gonna have this object with different options we want just the port port and we can pass it whatever port we want I'm just gonna play around with it and I'm gonna say 32 32 okay so now we need to create a connection between all the clients that are gonna connect to uh, all the clients in this server because we could have a thousand clients, right? And they all are going to be coming. We're all going to be making a request to this server here. So we are going to be using the WSS here dot on. This is a listener that we are attaching, right? And what we're going to be attaching here is a connection. And of course, this is going to have a callback that is going to bring us each individual client so we can edit the connection here okay so every time a client is connected to our server we are going to get that specific client right here so that specific client here and we can edit that connection inside okay so we can come here and right now let's just do a console real quick and I want to show you something um, now if we try to use this server the way it is here and we say node uh, WebSocket server you see this is blinking a little bit here in my console this is because our server is working right but we need to make a request in order for us to actually invoke this callback function okay we need to make a connection. Right now, we are listening for a connection, but we don't have a connection. There is nowhere in our application that we have a connection. We just created a server. Now we need to make that individual client. So let's go and create a client right now. Let's, you know, come back here. Let's create a new file. And then on this file, we, we're going to call this web socket client js okay I hope that this is starting to make sense to you this is just creating the server using JavaScript we are attaching a listener here for connections when we create that connection somewhere else which is gonna be in this file here once that connection the browser or the application detects that connection is on we make basically when we make a request to our server in port 3232 we are going to be invoking this connection and we are gonna be 
executing this code right here. But let's go ahead and create that connection. So this WebSocket connect, this WebSocket feature is already included in JavaScript. Okay, we did not have that before, but we do have it now. So if you go, let's say, let's open a browser real quick. And let's come back here. And if I say WebSocket here like this, I'll show you. We already have that included. Okay, you can find out some more information about it. And there is even a good article somewhere here that will give you some of the more uh, better examples. Okay, so, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's go now and create this new client. So I'm going to call this client, it's going to be a WebSocket, so I'm just going to put WS there. And let's just say new WebSocket. You see my JavaScript. But my ID is already detecting that that is included in the API, right? So now remember that WebSockets use a different protocol, protocol HTTP protocol or WS protocol. In this case, it's going to be a WS protocol, all right? Basically, like a different, uh, uh, different language for transporting data on the internet, right? Or through a network. So WS, that's the the protocol there, and now of course. The server in my computer is localhost, colon, and we are using port 3232. So now this is going to make a request here to this server. Okay, so once we open that connection, okay, we're good to go, right? This is it. We're creating this client here. Now, there is no way, the only way to make a connection to this in our, let's say, using the browser, we need to have a file making that request. Because right now, this file is the one making that request, but we can't use this in the browser, right? We can't use, we have to use Node to execute this file, right? So I don't want to use Node. I want to use a, I want to use a browser. I want, when somebody opens that file, I want it, I want that file to make that request. So we're going to say WebSocket uh, HTML, okay? Let's just call this, that's fine, let's just HTML. Okay, now we need this index type of file, right? And now right here in the bottom, before the body tag, the ending body tag, we are going to be including that file, okay? Let's just do, we have that client. So now we have that client connected there, okay? So now, all, I, all we have to do is go to the browser real quick and if I do this right you see that we get this we are connected I'm gonna do it in my other side of the monitor actually maybe you can see it there you see that we are connected again so we're making that request automatically by including this file here that's our client so now every time we open that we refresh is making a new request to our WebSocket, which is right here because that's where we created it but we attach a listener here to listen for any connections of any client so if I make that file again somewhere okay and I refresh here oops you see it says connected. If I come here, refresh, and it's listening to every other client that's making a request to that file. You see that? To that server. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. In the next lecture, I'm going to give you some more examples on how this works. But as you can see, it's super easy. Super easy. See you in the next lecture, guys. Take care.